Welcome back, everybody, for some more finale of the Jarls of Gelling. Just to trigger all the Germanic speakers. Oh, okay, so it's been a couple days since I have, uh, since I did the first part of this. So there's a little case of reorienting. What's our pop limit? Uh, 150. Well, let's get a bunch of these upgrades, I guess. Well, let's just get those for now. Get a Munker. Let's get some longboats running. Okay, so we have to go to, to Sweden and rescue Svein. Ah, here he is. Right next to the gallows. Feels bad, man. But yeah, gold is going to be running low very, very soon. And we are out of stone. Can we even build castles? I forget. Nope. So that does make a tower push even more appealing, I suppose. But we will at least get this relic. Uh, we do have ballistics. I wonder, actually. Can we go back over here? Because that would be pretty nifty. Um, so the Danes are without a king and beating each other's heads with the Swedes. Well, very well. It's, then it's past time Dory becomes independent again. Do not any let any Danish ships through any more. Uh, Franny, the devious Norwegian stabbed us in the back. It seems like we need to teach this rabble, rabble, rabble a lesson as well. Norway has been conquered us, and it will be again. Aha! Ho ho! get some more docks. No imp. Can I trade cogs now? But yeah, I I don't know what... Like, we're even allied to the orange, aren't we? Yeah, I mean, they're both defeated, but we're also allied to them, so I feel like we can just go back and land over here and start mining gold over there. That would probably be not a bad idea. Let's see what's generally going out on the map as we finally have some access to the ocean. That grind fest earlier. Olaf Tregvassen has built a sea blockade. Our ships are too weak to break through it. We'll have to deal with this problem later. I like that attitude. Uh, it seems like Svein is not Eric's only captive. The bastard is also imprisoned. The Jarl of Gotaland, Olaf Skotunung. Shriam too. Oh, is he in a different area? Yeah, there, there's Olaf. So yeah, let's just scout around a little bit, see what's up. What? <laughs> ah, I misclicked clearly. Either that or it's DE's fault. Let's go with DE. But yeah, there should be ton... Well, I guess there should be some amount of gold over here. Wait, okay. I, I definitely am pretty sure I didn't intend that to happen. Oh, please don't tell me I'm, I'm like... Bassy! Bassy! Freaking invisible barriers, man! 
Alright, so I guess we're gonna have to do this the hard way. Wait, where'd I get all that gold from? Not from one, one relic, that's for sure. Anyway, to build enough longships for this journey, we'll need gold and lots of it. Uh, I mean, that's just a bunch of fully upgraded elite longboats. I mean, I, I know I say just a bunch of fully upgraded elite longboats, but, you know, it's only like 12 or so. If you have like 20 regular longboats, they're going to do just fine. Can't believe Bassy used the OP powers of invisible barriers. Yeah, this scenario is pretty epic. Okay, here is red. I'm not sure what these cliffs are for. Or mountains, I guess. But let's find a place to land. And hopefully there'll be some gold over here. I could fish again, but I really don't need much food income right now. Well, landing options seem fairly limited, so this is probably not too bad. If I can click on the... Why can I not click on the tower? Yeah, they don't have masonry. Okay, so how big is our army? 19. Make one more transport. And that even makes 20. Well, we still have plenty of wood to chop over here still. We still have plenty of wood to chop over here still. Glad I'm a native English speaker. That's a guard tower. But towers without masonry still die to... Fairly well upgraded warships. Let's get that one as well. Alrighty. So we seem to have cleared a landing spot. Wait, no, no, don't have the villagers go first. Ornlu, you buffoon. Okay. It's over this way. I assume more docks. That's, that would check out. Let's get these guys landed before the transport ships are destroyed. Oh, we're already very close to Olaf. I wonder if he wants to build a snowman. Olaf's the snowman from Frozen, right? I never saw Frozen. Well, the Captrams have seen better days. But that's why we have a bunch of villagers here. It's not actually why, but we'll make good use of it. Oh, uh, let's not go too far into the jaws of the uh, Norwegians, or Swedes, or wherever we are. We're, we're in Sweden. Hey, you guys want to be a little bit more, you know, helpful? Oh, they have a town center here. Maybe they'll have resources. 
Uh, Cap Rams, hello. Oh, that's not the greatest, that's for sure. Maybe we'll get something once we free Olaf. Um, send the villagers down this way so we can make some more wood raiders. Uh, I see that those who fight under the banner of Svein are veritable men of honor. Thank you. For, uh, that's not true. Thank you for setting me free from the shameful captivity. Declare my debt. I will join the ranks and follow you in battle. Okay, so I guess we can get a hero unit. It's not the greatest, but got lots of HP. Wody woad woad time. I have no gold. Oh! Well, that didn't last too long. I'm gonna be a bit more. Oh, I'll rip the deer. Anyway, it looks like we're making headway here. Uh, I've instructed my engineers to improve your ships, my Danish friends. Your longboats will... Oh, that's handy. Um, oh, okay. I mean, I know we have, like, a bajillion food in the bank, but if there's anything that super long, uh, you know, 1v1 games have taught me in multiplayer, it's that, uh, 10k food can actually go down the drain pretty quick if you're not careful. Just ask any deathmatch player. Let's get a tower up. Need something to anchor our push. You also need to hotkey these barracks. Mm. Yeah, let's do one more. We can afford one more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. That was wonderful. I have no idea what purpose that served, if any, but I liked it. Um. Oh, is there nothing else over here? Nope. Just do that, I guess. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, they still have some more docks. Good, good. I don't know if it was really worth... Oh, hey, it's a gold mine. It's not much, but I guess it's something. Attila, we have found a gold mine. It is not much, but it will help us achieve our goal. Except the one they actually give you in Attila 3 is pretty sick. It's like... <gasps> This reminds me of the uh, the Valhalla's Edge, I think it was called, Philadelphia scenario, where I'd get like so excited for like one tile of gold because we desperately needed it so badly. Eh, 
Anyway, once we get some more gold income, we'll be even better. Oh yeah, and we have Elite Longboat too. These guys just have Pleb Longboats. I did unhotkey my docks on accident though. making headway. Is this the Gulf of Bothnia? Scandinavian geography isn't the greatest. I mean, it's probably better than like 99.9% .9 of Americans, but you know. To my majority European viewers, it's like, Erlu, you're so dumb, lol. And you, you, you all sound just like that in my mind. Not really. Okay, we're making our way towards the guy. Oh, the Norwegians are attacking us. Hey, they don't have elite longboats. Hey, not my gold miners. No. Oh, that's less than ideal. Let's back up the truck just a little bit. Oh, that's also not good. Minor thing that I don't think they ever teach you, like, is that if you hit shift at the market, like, if you shift click, um, it actually, instead of, like, buying or selling a hundred, um, you sell, you buy, sell 500. Same goes for your tributing, so, like, I'd hit, like, shift and then click and it's 500 wood instead of 100. Helps if you're doing that a lot in late game. I mean, I'm sure, like, a lot of you, if not almost all of you know that, but I'm sure there's some people out there that don't. Just because I was making good use of it right there. And I, I don't think they ever, t like, teach you that in, like, William Wallace or The Art of War. Onward and upward. Okay, running low on gold already. My guess is they have infinite income when it comes to when it comes to gold specifically, because they're not mining the gold that they have, but it seems like they're gathering food and wood. So my guess is that they're being tributed infinite amounts of gold, but they don't mine stone, and they don't... Oh, no, maybe, nope, maybe I'm wrong. We... Yay! We are running low on units, though. That tower is 3500 HP. Turns out Viking Wood Raiders with 75 HP are pretty dope. Even in Castle Age, where Wood Raiders are normally really bad. Castle Age Wood Raiders are really underwhelming because they're, you know, a good bit more expensive than Long Swordsmen. Especially, like, once supplies comes in. And you get just faster movement speed and even less attack. And although, like, a tiny bit more HP. Whoa. 
All right. It's not much, but we'll take it. Anything up this way? Uh, I guess it just is an island. The island of Sweden. Makes sense for gameplay purposes, though. Prevent Cyan from attacking us uh, when we're trying to attack Red. Forward! Need lots more longboats to break that blockade. Yeah, I would have just garrisoned all my wood raiders, but they still are making berserks, which is a little annoying. There we go. We got Svein. Oh, he is Hrolf the Ganger. Ganger? Oh, boy. Uh, if he had come out a few la years later, I would have freed myself on... Nice try there. My axe. Okay, now you have to go kill Cyan. Okay, so first what we're going to do is we have a bunch of long boats. Going to make even more. And then we're going to see what exactly we're looking at when we're going up against uh, Olaf. You shall not pass! You're not the boss of me, Gandalf. Somewhere in the western waters, Olaf's flagship, the Great Serpent, cruises. If we succeed in sinking this mighty war vessel, it will break the morale of Olaf's naval forces. Duly noted. Okay. We have exactly 30 units. Perfect. Just get one more transport then. Start destroying these docks. I assume that once uh, we destroy the Great Serpent or whatever, uh, he'll stop making longboats. But until that time, these docks are undefended. Anyway, let's see if we can find a good spot to land. This seems like a good spot to land.
So let's repair this like one HP, three HP transport. Okay, all aboard. Okay, got a good spot to land right there. See where we can find the Great Serpent. You're not the Great Serpent. Haha, the fjords will be your undoing. Because we can sail our longboats here. Wait, we can't make castles. Oh, we get elite berserks, but we'd have to keep transporting them across. Oh, that's annoying. Do we really, like, need that? I mean, yeah, the Berserks are great, but I think we can make do with Road Raiders. The Danes feel so confident that they have started building a base in the middle of my empire. This cannot go unchecked. Seem to be winning this quite nicely. Go get him! We have chieftains! The Danes have gone ashore! Assuredly. Ah! We actually have a bit more space with which to work here. Go get him! Still have no gold. Go just, I guess, get the rest of these. We should be good then. Nope, don't go that way. I don't know. Chop stuff over here. Let's see what's to the west. Wait, what? Do that, and do that. Okay. Let's see what's out here in the ocean, if anything. Nothing over here. Oh. 
Yeah, that's a lot of woads. Oh, it's the Great Serp- Oh, what the- that's a turtle ship! Freaking Admiral Yi is a... is a Viking. Go get him! Uh, I should be where my warriors fight and die. Okay, we're getting close to his base. Still a little light on gold for my taste. Let's see if there's anything all the way over here. Uh, a couple of mines in eastern Norway. <gasps> Oh wait, Spain boosts morale? Not sure what that means. Need to get these gold mines. Build a TC on them. Sorry guys, I'm afraid I'm the new sheriff. Because the other one was with Ensemble and uh, Ensemble's no longer a thing. Oh, don't chop wood, goofballs. Oh yeah, where's Spain? Here he is. Norse warrior. I think they're called Tarkins. Anyway, we're making our way there. I mean, we could make a headlong rush for the castle. Or right in front of my castle, I'm faced with ruin, protect your king, men! Okay, yeah, he's garrison in, in his castle. Some berserks. Damn, we're getting cleaned up. Oh, we should take down, like, these stables and stuff. The intrepid leader of the Danes is here himself. Whoa! Okay! That's a morale boost. not let that happen as best we can. Oh, hey, it's a wonder. It's a wooden church. Oh, 
Oh no, Spain! That's okay. You gave us Blast Furnace and Siege Engineers. You did your job. Let's take down these uh, production buildings, shall we? Making scouts now, they might be out of gold. Oh wow, that has 7,028 HP. Oh yeah, I never scouted anything over here. <sighs> oh, lots of rams. It has it. Has he even made any archers? Don't think he even makes archers. Just go for the castle. Go get him! And burn down their wooden church. And a monastery. Oh, there he is. Oh, now he flees into a tower. The coward. Go get him. Hey, Olaf, I had to ask you a question. Man, he's got a lot of HP for being a, a fat guy with no weapon or armor. Ha-ha! We did it! Norway is ours. The day is ours. All hail Spain, Forkbeard, Jarl of Yelling, King of the Baltic Sea. <clears throat> right, let's hear that outro. What? Oh, I guess there's no outro. That's weird. Um. Yeah, I mean, we pretty much saw the whole map. Let's, okay, let's do something. KD, pretty good, but not that amazing. This was definitely the hardest part when we were fighting against the Goths. Like, that was, that was quite the grind, but a uh, really, really good scenario. And, of course, really great campaign overall. But just to make sure... Determination. We're just going to IR winner it. Okay, it is. The naval battle of Falder ended with the complete annihilation of Olaf Tryggvason. Once more, the conniving Jomsvikings showed their true colors and did not send the ships they had promised Olaf. Thus, the vastly outnumbered Norwegian fleet was wiped out by Spain and his Swedish allies. According to the Danish sagas, Olaf Tryggvason committed suicide by jumping into the sea, the so-called King's Leap, in order to not be captured. The Icelandic and Norwegian skalds tell the story differently. According to them, the Norwegian king may even have survived the battle. However, after the defeat in the Battle of Svald, the Norwegians no longer played any role in the Baltic Sea region.
future now belonged to Svein Soli, who would soon lead his warriors to more distant shores. In 1013, Svein succeeded in conquering England and was crowned its ruler, but he only ruled for 40 days. This, however, is a different story to be told on another day. I guess... Harold the Saxon? Was his son or something? That'd be my guess. Anywho. That was the Jarls of Yelling, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. That last scenario was super epic. Um, but yeah, really fun. Hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time.